It's time to take a Tiger Cat's time out with Patrice Whiffin. All right, Tiger Town, we're here with Jagera Davis. How are you? I'm well. I'm blessed to come out here, be out here with some of my great teammates, great staff. I'm just happy to be back home. I love that energy. That's so great. <laughs> How was the off season? What did you get up to? Uh, off season, I spent a lot of time with the family. I was able to travel a little bit um, and get in the kitchen a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Talk to me about that. Are you a big chef? Uh, some of the guys will say so. Like a lot of guys love my peach cobbler. Um, something. Okay. A home recipe my mom taught me when I was nine. Can we sample some of this? Like you should have brought this to the interview. I'm, I, honestly, I got one probably, I'll probably make one by next week, so I'll let you sample it. All right, that sounds amazing. Is So you're more of like a baker then, or? I do both. Both, um, okay. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for that day. Okay. Um, so I like to get creative sometimes, it just depends on what I'm feeling. I feel like we need to do a segment, like cooking <laughs> with J J Garrett or something like that. I feel like that'd be so fun. Um, okay, interesting. What else are you doing on a non-game day? Ooh, non-game day. Um, are you able to relax? Do you relax? Let the guys say I'm always relaxed. Um, I'm, I'm always <laughs> okay. smiling, always laughing. But um, I like to try to go bowling. Um, I love traveling, which I it's a season right now, so I can't do that. But um, definitely bowling. Are you uh, a good bowler? Sorry to interrupt you. Are you a good bowler? Do we need to um, have like a team-wide bowling game or something? Just know I'm finishing in top three. Okay, That's top three. Is there someone else that you know is a better bowler than you? I mean. We would say he's nice, so I got to, me and Wu's got to get out there. You got to try. Have you been see. bowling in Hamilton? Have you been to one of the local oh, absolutely. bowling alleys? Okay, I season been, pro. <laughs> okay. I got to get out. I ain't had a chance to get out because just fresh out of um, training camp, but I'm definitely going soon. Okay, so if the whole football thing doesn't work out, professional bowling is in your future? I might make professional bowling sick. I might go cooking first. Oh, Chef wow. Yeah, okay. I feel like we need to we need to do a segment <laughs> with that. Um, all right. So bowling, cooking, uh, you mentioned traveling. Where was the last place you traveled to? Oh, I was able to go to um, Jamaica. Okay. I went to Jamaica for a week, so that was fun. That nice. Was... Now, did you disconnect and, and kind of just hang by the beach, or were you, like, traveling all around? Oh, uh, no. I was, I was with the locals okay. the whole time, so I was able to eat... Um, Jerk chicken out from the corner. I so mean, jealous. they <laughs> you name it, I, I pretty much done it. Okay. So I, I really enjoy myself. And what's next on the travel list when we're not in season, of course? Ooh, I'm planning on trying to get to either Cairo, Egypt, or Bali. Wow. Mm. I've been to Bali, not Egypt, but I've been to Bali. Highly recommend. So see, see. add it to the list. That's exciting. Um, all right. What else should fans know about you behind the scenes? Is there anything else that you're into? Maybe when you're hanging around the house? Oh, hang around the house. I use um put on some good nineties R&B music. Okay. Uh, Favorite artist from that era? Ooh, that's a hard one. I, I know. Mean, that's, I'm I sorry. Mean, Hard hitting questions. It is. <laughs> uh, top top three. I would have sure. to go. Oh, I have to go. <laughs> the Isley Brothers. Okay. I have to go. I have to put a few men in there, so I have to go. Um, Whitney Houston. Two Amazing. and three. Mm, what's the who stays in my elder bars? Excellent. I feel mm. like we also need to get you to put together like a <laughs> playlist or something for us. Is that what you're listening to pregame? Do you have any pregame superstitions or, or routines? Uh, my only pregame routine or super, uh, superstition is um, I always get a text message from my mom before the game. Uh, uh, I always look forward to that. That's my that's my gear ready. Thank you so much for your time. Really Thank appreciate you. it.